Okay, so I go up to the black be beagle. Ahoy, friend. Hello. Hello. Uh, some friends and I are looking to secure passage. Do you ever take on passengers? From time to time, but not typically. Which direction are you headed out of this port? Uh, let's look at the map. We're headed all the way to the east right now. We're headed to Shargaron. Back to our port of harbor. Our Shargaron. Yeah. To the right. <laughs> to the right, to the east. I still can't find it. It's really far it's to the east. Castle Dan. Oh, wow. Shargaron is yeah, we quite far. Well, um, we're, we're going so far as... Uh, uh, only so far as West Point, and you know, I'm assuming you might have to to rest and fuel up at some point. Would you mind just dropping us off there on your way? What? It's the other way. It's completely the other way. No. Chargaron is no. It's like on the way. It's an island out from the shore. It's in direct line with where oh. they would have to sail. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Um, I don't know if we can... I, I don't really have the authority to make that sort of call, but I don't see why not. Do you, uh, do you know what the general going rate for, for passage would be? Well, we don't really take on passengers that much, but uh, to West Point? Maybe... Five gold ahead. That sounds fair. All right. Well, should I check back when whoever has the authority to make that call is here? Yeah. Come back uh, this evening. Okay. I'll be back in a few hours. Thank you. All right. All right. I go back and relay that all to the group. I did tell two separate people that I was going two separate directions, so we should probably be careful to avoid that becoming known. <laughs> Yeah, true. Also, the cog. Uh, the, not the cog, but the ship I spoke to, I said we were going to another direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, well. I didn't ask when they were departing either. I should have asked that. Well, let's yeah, go check on let's go check on Tyrant, and then I'll go back in a couple hours. Yeah, I'm he's still uh, pretty by now. I'm still like minus 17 wounds, wounds so I'm going to go rest. Okay. Or actually, Neil, I would be resting the whole day to try to get one HP back. <laughs> okay, so you're just kicking back in your in room, looking out the window. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So I guess Anna goes back a few hours later. Yeah. So first, I go back to the um, Merman's Trident, mm -hmm. and I ask for I say that I was here earlier asking about passage and uh, captain's around. Yeah, the captain's around now. You get introduced to a Captain Murphy. Hello, Captain Murphy, sir. Hello. Uh, have you been informed? I talked to one of your crew members earlier. I'm looking for passage uh, as far as Rockdale. And I was wondering if you might take, take on myself and three other passengers just that far. Uh, well, we don't really like to make stops. You'd have to make it worth our time, if you know what I mean. Well, we're willing to pay up to five gold per head. Stopping in Rockdale would really cut us down and uh, take, you know, half a day to move out of the way, get into port, unload, then take off again. You know, it's kind of a pain in the ass for us. If you can bump that to... 50 gold ahead, we can make it happen. Well, I, I have some other options that were not as luxurious as your ship appeared to be, but 50 gold ahead is much steeper price than they were asking. So I'll probably be going with them, but I, I do appreciate your time, and if, if need be, I may be back. Do you know when you are planning to depart? Whenever the tides are right. Okay. That could be any time at all. Could be today, could be tomorrow, could be a week from now. 
Okay. Well, thank you for your time, Captain Murphy. I appreciate it. I shake his hand firmly. Okay. He looks at you with kind of a... The kind of cocks his head to the side and looks at you with a strange expression and uh, shakes your hand and watches you depart. You get the feeling that he's like... I don't want to say checking you out because it's not in like a oh look at that hottie but more of like a who is this person it's definitely like, like a it, like it looks like he recognizes me kind of not thing, necessarily but... recognize you but he's definitely like examining you as you walk uh he's interested in my persona yeah something along those lines huh. well uh december just pulls her cloak a little bit further across her face and uh walks back to the party tells him what happened make sure that that guy isn't still watching her uh like walks back to shore until he loses interest and goes away before she walks to the other ship. Then uh, I go back to the black beagle and say, hello, uh, is the, is, I was here earlier inquiring about passage. Is there someone I could speak to who has the authority to let me know whether I might be able to get aboard? You say this to the black beagle? Yeah. Um. <clears throat> Yes, you are introduced to the first mate. His name is Skip. Hello there, Mr. Skip, sir. I appreciate your time. I was speaking with one of your crew members earlier about arranging passage. They said you might be willing to take us as far as West Point for five gold ahead, and there are four of us total. Um, I'd be much obliged if we could gain passage on your ship. Yeah, we could drop you off for five gold ahead. It's not a problem. Yeah, I'm thank pretty you sure so Captain much. Mac would be pleased to have the extra company aboard. Captain um, Mac? Yeah. She's the best. Ah. She. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Female captains are are far far between in my uh, experience, and it's always a pleasure to find another another woman sailor. Yeah, well, you don't get to be the captain of a ship like this and female without being the best, so you know you'll be in safe hands. Sounds good. Well, um, do you know when you're planning on departing? Uh, we are leaving in four days. Okay. What is your, uh, just out of curiosity, what is your trade? Are you taking cargo that way? or? Yeah. Yep. We got hired by some guy in town to drop off a load of cargo. He should be arriving. His stuff should be here in the next couple of days, and then we'll take off and head out. Does it happen to be a traveling zoo by any chance? No. <laughs> no. Uh, I heard about such a, a traveling circus, though, back when we were in. Uh, where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Uh, Tirp. Back in Tirp, there was a traveling circus that got stranded there for a little while. The ship, ship took some damage in the storm, and they had to unload all their animals for a bit. Oh, really? Yeah. I uh, I heard about the same traveling circus, and I was very, very interested to see. They said they had a talking monkey. How do you know it's the same that. traveling circus? I don't know. I'm just assuming. I haven't heard of any other traveling circus. Sure, I have only I heard of this one. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, I'm much obliged, and we should return then in, in four days in the morning and be ready to set sail. Yeah. Yeah, if that's what you'd like, uh, make sure you have your gold ahead of time. We do do not take cash on delivery. We take cash ahead of time. All righty. Will do. Thank you very much, and I uh, will see you in four days. All right. What was the name? Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> the captain was Mac. His name was... You're standing there awkwardly while you're like, thank you, Mr. No, I don't, I don't say that. If I don't remember his, his name, name, I just say thank you very much, and I leave. End of sentence. Thank you, kind sir. And then I leave. His name is Aroni. Mr. Aroni? Aroni. What? Captain Mac and Aroni. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure. All right. I go back to the group. I say we have four days. We'll be set sail, so we should either do something to get some money or just rest. I mean, or, I mean, Tyrant's boat might be done, so maybe we can take that one instead. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could rest up, or we could always try to get the other ship that seemed fast and awesome. The Wog of Fog strategy could work. 
Hmm. It just seems like it takes a long time to get a ship out of port and that people would notice. Yeah. Well, if they yeah. the wall of fog, I couldn't make them sleep. Yeah. It's always if everything goes according to plan. Yeah. All right, all right. Let's just do the other strategy. It seems safer. And you can I'm, rest up if you need some sleep. I'm not. Well, I'm not here. So. Oh, true. Sorry. Freak and rest up. She needs some sleep. <laughs> All right. So I guess we hang out around town for a few days. Okay. Right. Um, is there anything particular you'd like to do during these four days? Mm, I detect. I locate object to try to see if the ship is somewhat nearby. Your ship. Yeah, I mean, mm. if the locate object cannot locate a full ship, I can locate stairs, apparently. So I would locate, like, the mast or the sails or the uh, anything. I don't care. A um. plank that was always on the ship. <laughs> hmm. Oh. I would locate the wheel of our ship, the one with, that we navigate with. We wouldn't change that. I'm back. Uh -oh. Oh, broken our relays. Oh, it doesn't matter because we don't have the names. Yay! <laughs> Note that an attempting to find a specific item such as a jewelry or crown requires an accurate mental image. If this image is not close enough to the actual, the spell does not work. Desired but unique objects cannot be located by desired but unique objects cannot be located by the spell unless they're known by the caster. The spell is blocked by lead. And the area of effect. The area of effect is twenty yards per level. Yeah, it's not that big. Okay, and you yes, are what the level? Ship is right above you. <laughs> Your fifth level. Yeah. So okay. it's like the ship is not within one hundred yards of you. Yeah, guys, the ship is not within one hundred yards. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. Is that how locate object works? I, I spaced out for a second. Yeah. Uh, you would not have been able to use locate object to even try and find your horse. You would have been way out of range. But if you oh, lose man. your keys, this is your spell. <laughs> I could Never. use a locate object spell. This spell is disappointing. I don't know how we'll locate our ship. Uh, even if you doubled that range, it would still be a shit spell. We could always ask around every city we end up to and ask for the banana. It's a ship banana. shit spell for finding your ship. This is correct. But if you're looking for a specific item and maybe a, it's a hidden around in a room somewhere, it might be useful. Mm -hmm. Or if yeah. perhaps you're looking for, like, you know, you're lost in a maze and you're like, I want the closest set of stairs. You can get the. Trying to determine the uh, sex of a person. Just picture a vagina or penis. <laughs> yeah. And it'll locate within 100 yards. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds reasonable. Okay, so uh, moving on. Uh, yes, lucky the object is not going to work out. Okay. So well, you guys just kill four days. There's nothing you guys want to do during no, that time? I, oh, when sorry. I got cut off, I was saying that I want to spend the next four days just walking around and pickpocketing. Like, I'll looting pretend, people. I'll on day pretend two, I'm the shopping bonus finish, or like, I'll be walking with Tyrant or something and we'll use him as a distraction. Did... Did we see his boat? Okay, so first, uh, Anna, give me D100 rolls. Uh, what is your pickpocket percentage? It is, I believe, 50, but let me check. Yeah, 50. All right, so just give me D100. How many? Uh, just, way, we'll do I one at a time. I wouldn't do this in excess. Like, I wouldn't do it to the point where I would start being notorious. It's, like, very, very sneaky. Yeah, I mean, we'll... we'll uh, yeah. That's fine. You're going to get caught on, like, the first one. All right, so first day, uh, no problem. Or first pickpocket attempt, not a problem. You get yourself uh, three silver. It's not a lot. Nice. Next one. <clears throat> uh, you fail to pick the pockets. Another one? Uh, as many as you'd like. You get some. You get five gold and three silver. Ooh. That didn't work. No, that did not work. In fact, not only did that 
not work, but you got uh, caught trying to do it. So you're going up to this merchant who's you know walking on the way to his shop and go to loosen the purse on his waist, but something happens. You know, you you trip over uh, an uneven cobblestone or something and give a little lurch. He turns around, sees you with your hand like on his purse and starts yelling, guards, thief, thief. I give him a look like I'm really, really offended. And I'm like, excuse me, sir. All right, he a tries lady... to tackle you. I 18. start screaming, help, 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 like a lady in distress. Guards, guards. Yeah, I start screaming. Guards, okay. Help, uh, guards, he... Okay, you guys need to do opposed strength checks because he, you, he has successfully like grappled you around the waist and you guys are now wrestling. Or maybe uh... wrestling if you... And eight, so D twenty plus eight. Yes. He got one. No, he rolled a natural 11. nineteen. Oh shit. Yeah. Um. Where exactly is the wrestling rules? It's not pummeling. Wrestling. Uh, wrestling combat only takes place between two opponents. Wrestling procedures. Here we go. Uh, blah, blah, blah. The attacker enters the defender's square and inflicts D2 points of damage. Attacker. Damage me? Yes. Yes. You take two points of damage. Am I all healed up from my previous seven wounds? No. Oh, where did you. you... Rest. No, I think we you guys have been slowly healing as you've been walking, so you're still the those the, you still have those seven. Okay, so I I still have seven, so now I have nine, right? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the so uh, immediately try for a lock. Do I start bleeding at all? No, like, no bleeding. Even, like scratches or anything? No, this is just like pummeling, bludgeoning, uh, hitting damage. I scream like pitifully, like I'm being beaten and and just owned. What does it sound like? <laughs> Enter your character. Okay, so um, he, you're not resisting then. I'm I'm looking like I'm yeah no I'm like oh, all right oh, okay. Yeah. Next uh, so pretty quickly, a large group gathers around you. He realizes that you're not really resisting and has gotten you kind of like in a. Like he's wrapped his arm. You guys are all on the ground, and he's got one arm around your neck, and like holding onto your hand with the other arm, and has like one leg kind of wrapped around you from I'm screaming the side. In terror, pitifully. Um, pretty soon, uh, a set of armed guards come up. Three guards wearing chainmail and halberds, uh, with a short sword at their side, you know, helmet on and everything, come marching up, and they go like, "What's the problem here?" And they separate you two. Uh, and he immediately says as they start walking up, and I'm sure you start talking at the same time, but he's saying, this this little thief tried to steal or pick my pocket. I felt her and I even saw her. These guys can all see a test to it. They saw it too. Uh, I just, I, I'm i like, what? How could you think I would ever do such a thing? And then I go to the nearest guard like breathlessly and say, I tripped and he just started attacking me. I don't know what he could possibly be, be meaning. The guards uh, like kind of. I start crying and look my at the tears two of you like smudging the dirt on my face, and I'm like wiping them away, but it's like smearing more <laughs> dirt on my face. I'm like, <laughs> I just don't know how this could possibly have happened. I'm so scared, and I like hold on to one of the guards, like kind of behind his arm, and then peer out at the other guy. <laughs> uh, give me a charisma check. <laughs> Go December on. is pretty sick at the art, at the dramatic art. <laughs> well, that's supposed to be what I was trained in. Does she have Do you have an acting, acting proficiency? No, well, I was, what I was supposed to be is like a fully trained assassin who can imitate all human emotions really well. But Well, that's what you want to be, but you, were, you started as a first level character. You don't get to start as... I know. Mis I just, yeah. as okay. part of the character, that's what I imagine myself as, although in the Neelverse, I cannot have an acting proficiency. I have one. Because I said so. How can I get one, Neil? You didn't ask for an acting proficiency. We gave I didn't you know what an acting proficiency was. Do <laughs> You know what? We can't go back a year and undo. 
Okay, December's gonna start practicing her acting. Okay, well, give me one. your give me your charisma check. Thirty-one. Yay! Thirty-one. Very nice. Woo! Who's an actor now? <laughs> okay. Um. So the guy, the the merchant, is clearly flustered and pointing at her like, "No, why would I attack her? That's bullshit." She tried to steal. Look, search her. I'm sure. Blah, blah, you know, they, he's very flustered and you know, red in the face and kind of sweating. And, I just keep looking terrified of him, and like my eyes are wide. I'm like, oh. the crowd that gathers is getting larger and larger, and the guards look at each other and like, all right, we're gonna take you guys somewhere a little bit more quiet, and where there's not as many look you lose. Come on. Well, I have they... my, I pull my hood up and like hide in it. Okay, they start escorting the two of you back to the constable's chambers or quarters in the town. Uh, you guys get there, unless you try and run away on the way there. No. Yeah. No, nope. you guys get to this place, and the merchant, still very flustered and embarrassed and upset about the whole ordeal, says, "You know, why? Why won't you believe me? She's just some filthy street urchin. I'm a well-respected merchant in town. I know when someone's trying to steal my pocket. I've been doing this for thirty-five years." And I, I start saying, "I, I guess I could see," and I'm like, still terrified of him, like hiding behind guards. I'm like, "I guess I could see how you." You might have assumed in, in a place like this that I I could have be, been trying to steal your, your purse, but I did just trip on a cobblestone. I must have flailed and, and grabbed it on my way down. I'm so ever so sorry for the mis misunderstanding, but I would never try to steal from someone like you. And I, if One of the guards says, now, now, miss, what's your name? Mary. Mary. Mary, would you mind taking off that cloak? It's hard to see your face with it on. I suppose I take off the hood. Uh, would you mind removing the whole cape, please? But why? Is this a problem, miss? I just, I'm feeling a little unsafe right now. This man... You're in the middle of a constable. Time. You're, we're right here. He can't do anything to you. They're very insensitive, and I, like, I, like, really tearfully, like, <laughs> take off my cloak and, like, set it aside and look really, like, uncomfortable not having it. And what equipment are you wearing on you? I... On me? I think it's all in my cloak. Your crossbow's in your cloak? And all is your it? daggers are know. in your cloak? I don't, I don't have any daggers anymore, luckily. What, what, is, what <laughs> equipment, what weapons do, is your character carrying on you currently? She does uh, have hydrates, it's true. My groat and okay, that, my that's pretty easy hand to hide. crossbow. A hand crossbow, that's it? Yeah. And your hand crossbow is in your cloak? Attached to your cloak? I don't know how it attaches. No, how does someone carry a crossbow? Uh, you know, you say you have it on a... Last I heard, remember, you said you had it on a sling around your okay. body. So sure. they see the crossbow on you pretty quickly as you take mm -hmm. off your cloak. They look at it. They look at him like, all right, well, we know this merchant. You we've never seen before. What are you doing with a crossbow if you're such a defenseless young woman? I like to hunt... Uh quail i just came back from a hunt and i was very unlucky today i don't have any is she qualified for that <laughs> <laughs> are you are you really thinking that i i could have done something like this yep. am i really on trial after having been attacked in the street well this is not a trial but this is a tough situation here look at the merchant, uh, and they pull him into a different room. And they proceed to question you. Give me another charisma check. Um. Okay. Um. Okay. So they talk to you for uh, an hour and a half and just kind of like question you and keep poking at you with things, and eventually they decide to let you go. Um, nice. And you walk out a free woman. Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, I go back to meet the party. Okay. This time and... you don't kill anyone. <laughs> what? This time you're not. You didn't kill anyone. I know. Go me. Progress. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was mostly our self-preservation because killing someone would just <laughs> create a problem because we have to wait four days to go. This is still. Is this still the first day, Neil, or have I been? Talking for a couple of days. This is the first day. Oh, okay. So I say, I guess I can't pickpocket anymore, guys. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. What happened? Oh, you told us, right? Yeah. 
Oh, well, be be careful next time. Maybe it's not the best idea to do that when we're stuck in a town for a while. Yeah, I Is guess Tyrant so. back? Yeah, yeah. Tyrant, how's your no. show? It's day one, I'm not back. Okay. This is the next day. It is after, not. After well, you said you were going to make the ship. It's a two-day ordeal. Please, I know how to make a boat, okay? okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, the next day, everyone has gained another HP. You all wake up. Oh, except yeah. Faye, who gains two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you come outside, um, it appears that Tyrant has been waiting for you as he has a gorgeous canoe set up in front of where you guys are sleeping. <laughs> Is it gorgeous, Neil? Call for gorgeousness of canoe. <laughs> <laughs> it is gorgeous. I said it is. Well, it's gorgeous for Tyrant. I mean, Tyrant thinks it's gorgeous, but is it it's gorgeous? It's polished. It's uh, it's sanded down. It says on one of the sides, Tyrant. That's a little bit childish, but the rest of it is gorgeous. <laughs> Confirm, Neil. I don't know if you can actually build a canoe in two days. Okay. That's part of what makes him amazing. Is he was a he was a canoe builder growing up in Minotaria. <laughs> All right, fine. There's a canoe. Wow, Tyrant, that is a beautiful, beautiful boat. Uh, lacks in um, storage, as you can tell, but it makes up for it in speed. It's fantastic. So four of us can fit in there. Yes. Are you sure? Absolutely. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> are you thinking we'll sail this all the way across the sea? No. That would be a <laughs> terrible trip. <laughs> For reference, it takes normal people like 80 to 200 hours to make a canoe. Ooh, shit. That's well, very impressive. At least and for reference, know. it takes minotaurs half that, especially when they stay up all night and work on it for 48 hours. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just, I didn't say that you didn't. You still have your canoe. I'm just saying, guys, this must be, he must be really good because it normally takes people a long fucking time to make a canoe. Really amazed. Yeah, uh, I guess for future reference, we know that Tyrant can, Tyrant can build us a, a seaworthy boat in a very short amount of time. Thank you, Tyrant. That's that's really kind. Uh, how do you propose we use this right away? Should we take it with us on a yes, a big boat? Uh, usually, you put it in the water and then you just kind of ride on top of it in the uh, open part. I feel like it would be a good idea to actually convince the people to bring the canoe on the boat. Yes, we should do it. As long yeah. as they'll do it, yeah. Is it if especially if it's a big boat? Then we have an escape route. Yeah. If the boat is larger than this one, usually they can carry it. You should do that. Good idea, Tyrant. Good thinking. <laughs> For right now, I'm not doing anything. You want to take me on a ride in your canoe? No. Why? But you can take it if you like. Okay. Anyone else want to come? Not that really. Nope. December. Enjoy the canoe ride. December kind of like looks around at everyone and just kind of like looks at the canoe and then. <sighs> okay. And then just goes on a canoe ride by herself. And just kind of sits there in the water with her cloak and her hood. Well, how do you take? It's just a canoe sitting in front of the tavern. Do you carry it? I guess there's no paddles either, so never mind. She just sighs and looks at it forlornly and doesn't go. Hmm. Oh, we need paddles. Good point. Yeah. What? Paddles. Paddles. Or whatever. I'll be right back. He storms out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I guess we just rest the next four days, right? Yeah. Well, wait. Later that night, when you guys are trying to go to sleep, he knocks on your door. Hello. Uh, as you open the door, he drops two of the ugliest paddles you've ever seen in your entire <laughs> life on the floor. Oh, wow. You already made them. Awesome. <laughs> Admittedly, I'm not very good at making paddles. <laughs> but the canoe was wonderful. Yes. Yes. Just point of order, Jeff's webcam makes it look like his head is just floating in space right now. <laughs> it's really funny. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> anyway, sorry. <laughs> trying to role play here, Anna. Some of us <laughs> take it very serious. Well, it was in the dark in the end, so. Anyways. Uh, I don't yeah. know. Neil, I've lost my character. I don't know. <laughs> what is my motivation? 
All right. Uh, th thank you, Tyrant. That was really kind of you. Hopefully we yeah. can bring this with us when we go on our ship. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem as long as the boat is larger than the paddles. Yeah. You still don't want to go on a canoe ride with me? He walks away. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you trying so hard with Tyrant, December? I miss my horse. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Out of character, did you wait for that line to blow? <laughs> did you blow that line? <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's so many places to go with that. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> for the horse. Yeah, you can go to many places with the horse. Mm -hmm. mm. And with the Minotaur. I did ride it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. December doesn't have a very good grasp on social interaction, so I don't know. I don't know why she said that. I have no idea. I think in some places it's acceptable to have sex with a horse there. What? That, what? <laughs> December doesn't even... Anyway. Let's... So it's been the first hour. Um, we're going to come back with the next hour of Miss Clicks d and Oh, look, 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 guys. Uh, we're going to stop the stream and restart it, but it doesn't mean we're gone. It won't fix the chat if that's what you're doing it for. No, no we're not. We're doing it for other reasons. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Maniacal reasons. Oh, and this is a great break, like we were saying, to go if you want to go watch my music video on my YouTube channel. You can. Really? <laughs> Might be a minute or two longer because I'm going to take the dogs out, by the way. Sorry, I, I need just... to fix some overlay stuff anyway. Okay, cool. We'll be back in See five you. minutes. Or, or six. Or Burp. <laughs> Bye.